Let's put that into some highlights for you. The big question at the beginning of the day was, could anyone prevent Mathieu van der Poel from doing it? And just right from the off here, it was just no question. Ian. It was van der Haar that slipped the pedal. He just caught it out of the corner of the screen there. Just slipped the pedal, that first pedal stroke, and that caused carnage for a lot of riders around him, but also caught up behind him. But onto that first lap, and van der Poel just took control of the race. And Van der Putten early on, Jeremy, Niels Van der Putten managed to, to stay with them on their opening lap, but it almost looks like it just put him too deep into the red. Yeah, well, like I was saying before, this course, you know, there was power. You could put power down everywhere, you know, on other tracks, you know, you're kind of confined. You can't put out all the power, but I think if you go over your limit today, that maybe is what happened to Van der Putten. Other riders really timed their efforts well. That rider there, Michael Van Tornhout, really timed his effort perfectly today. And Van Turenau's charge was 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 a, was one of the rides of the day, Helen. Yeah, to put in a lap that was at the same time as uh, Matthew Van Der Poel at the at the in way into the race um, was absolutely incredible. And we know he's good at finishing off. We know he's good at peaking, but he just really took it. And he really got close to Newenhouse towards the end of the race. And Ian Newenhouse, killer cool, you got to say about him. Yeah, just remained calm. And even when that gap came down, as we saw Van der Haar snap a chain, just nothing you can do at that point. You can't, can't fix that. So uh, a long, long run to that pit for him. But Van der Poel, here, getting off for all those muddy corners, taking the risk out of it, taking the chances of coming to a halt completely out of the question, off and running, remounting, and then that man you were on about, Newenhouse, rode the perfectly kind of paced race. And Jeremy, you're trying to put into words sometimes in terms of how faultless that ride was for Vanderpool. There was no mistake on no, this he course didn't, today. He did not put a foot wrong, Marty. He did, I, I, I think I saw one little rut where he was just a little over the edge or in the last lap, but other than that, I, I have to say, I do have to go back and watch the whole thing again, but I do not think that he even put a foot down or a foot wrong the entire race. It's 1-2 for the Netherlands in Matthew van der Poel, Joris Nievenhaus with Michael van Turen out in third, and then farewell to one of the biggest personalities, not just in the world's best sport of cyclocross, but in cycling, you would say, in Zdenek Stibar, his final race, and what a way to end his career, his last day. So, Matthew Van der Poel takes it ahead of Joris Nievenhaus and Michael Van Turenau, Pim Ronha, Elias Bit Jens Anders, Mikko Boris, Vietnamese and Thibaut Nace, and Felipe Orr. Uh, was this victory for you, and how important was it for you to achieve the sixth gold medal? Yeah, it was uh, the most important race of my cyclocross season, so. Yeah, I'm happy to take the win. Uh, today's Zdeněk Štebar is finishing his career. So how great cyclist is, is, is leaving the cycling world? Yeah, super, uh, super nice guy as well. Uh, I train a lot with him, so I hope he uh, continues to train a bit so we can go uh, together on uh, some rides. Thank you so much. Matthew Van der Poel is your champion here in Tabor for 2024. Don't have to go anywhere for more cycling action here today. As Matthew Van der Poel, Joris Nievenhaus and Michael Van Turenau stand atop the podium here in Tabor.